Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I've been sitting here in the shade after walking along the Los Pinos River and I happened to find a very nice porch here. The river is right out down uh, along the tree line there and uh, this porch is remarkably bug free and uh, very shady and it belongs to the senior center where I've been hanging out off and on. You can see it's, it's, it's gigantic and it's very little used so it's a nice place to sit and meditate. And I had a few thoughts for you about my walk. See, it goes on. This is one big porch. One huge porch. And very quiet here. So I had some thoughts for you about uh, my walk today and I thought I'd explain about it. Let's see what I can do here. Howdy. Oh, let's see if I can fix this. Okay. Nice and windy here. And um, today during the walk I was concentrating on balancing out my vital body chakras. And I've written a little bit about this on a blog. That's the senior center people. They're just heading off to a wild dinner in Durango. So, um, <laughs> um, anyway, these the the chakras that are in the vital body. That's from the neck down to the bottom of the torso. Uh, just an overview. It includes the heart, the heart, and the navel point right about the middle of the torso which is the center of will. And then below that is the sac sacral chakra. That's your sexuality. I've got a couple inches below that. And I don't know how well you're going to see this. The very bottom of your body is, <laughs> is your base chakra, basal chakra. And so there are four, ch four main chakras, at least in the old system. And uh, these chakras, they, they're, they, they're shaped like a double funnel. There's a funnel that goes out from the front of you. That's for the heart, the navel point, and the sacral chakra. And then there's a funnel that goes out. It's an energetic funnel. It goes out behind your spine. And in the middle, there's a point that I call the null point. And that's the point, if you concentrate on your attention on it, your awareness on it, that's the point where you can contact infinite flow, the infinite flow of energy. Now, uh, most, I'm going to talk about the basal chakra a little bit later because it's a little bit different. Most of the um, time, most of us spend relating to the, cha to the um, funnels that are in front of the null point. These are the, this is the part of the chakras of the vital body that allows us to relate to the world. Okay, what you call, might call the frontal aspect of the vital body chakras. Okay, but the trouble is we do our, we spend our time out there and our chakras of our vital body are not well balanced. So we can't access the divine energy that is our birthright. Now, so during my walk today, I was, I was walking along and I was noticing how I, I was, my thoughts were pulling me out into the, these the energy of these chakras out in, in front into the world. And so I, 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 my thoughts wouldn't allow me to, to center my energy in the, in the vital body. So then I started singing Sanskrit um, chant that um, or probably any holy chant would do. But I tried the, this chant and it seemed to work pretty well in, in allowing me to access the divine part of these chakras, not just the social part. And you might want to try it sometime too and see if it works for you. Or what, what really resonates with you, what chant or what song. If it's something about the divine, it's probably a good thing. And it'll bring in that divine energy. Well, that's my blessing for today.
a chance to relate to the divine as our protector and mother and we can do that through all our chakras um, not just um, not just the heart but through all our chakras and so I'll talk to you about the basal chakra in another um, get together. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Bye bye.